everyone welcome to my channel i am just shiny and today we're going to be watching tiktok scary stories the product of the day today is going to be a neck fan absolutely stand by this neck fan it's beautiful it's almost like you have the ac around your neck it's summertime and i know y'all are all out and about it's hot get you a neck fan the link is in the description go ahead and cop it scary story time while i reactivate this slime oh my gosh i get my money's worth so get yours yeah it just looks like i put a whole bunch of glue all over the table bro ghost in the backyard edition like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so this happened when i was in elementary school i was definitely a little kid and i remember i was in my like room at the time and i was like doing something with my sisters i cannot remember but i was at my dad's house and i remember that room always gave me the heebie-jeebies at nighttime because it was just creepy i don't know but i loved being in it in the daytime because of the windows right the way this room was kind of set up was that I can see kind of half of the front yard and then the backyard, right? I can see that. Now, I remember like minding my business with my siblings and then seeing like a man walking along the sidewalks in front of the house. Now, this man kind of had his head down and he looked like he was minding his business. So I'm not thinking it's a big deal. Time goes on. My sisters go to their room and I completely forgot that this man walked by, right? I'm chilling next to my window and next thing you know, I see this same man that I seen earlier in my backyard walking around my dad's garden just like in circles. Just he did like two or three times. I'm looking at this man like full on staring at him. He doesn't make eye contact with me once. And then I see him like kind of walk in the direction where my window is to kind of hide behind our playhouse. When he ducked behind like the playhouse, I ducked too. So I duck and I'm like kind of peeking over my bed um through my window i see him get up make eye, direct eye contact with my window walk into like this corner where this like old tree was and he he's just there i don't I, he's out of my view so i immediately run to my dad and my like, dad there's a creepy man in our backyard like you gotta get him like he's creepy he was, he was just in our backyard so obviously concerned he gets up he goes to the backyard he checks all the places where i tell him to check and he's like look there's nobody back here like what are you on like there's no one back here and i'm like no 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 no. there is like he went behind this way like that you know just tripping off of it i know some people are gonna be like okay where's the scary part like this is not scary y'all y'all to describe my old house and its backyard we had this huge fence that like you couldn't climb up unless you had some type of assistance um you, you needed assistance to climb this wall so everybody's looking at me like i'm crazy because what are you talking about like there's nobody back here and i'm just trying to like explain myself like i promise i'm not crazy like i'm not making this up i'm not gonna say they didn't believe me but i feel like they definitely thought i was tripping um I remember in that same night, I seen this man standing by my bay window and I was terrified and I hardly ever slept in that room again. So that's the scary part and no one believed me. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe my story times, but I couldn't make this up y'all. Like that man was in my backyard and I seen him like I, I can still remember every detail about this man to this day. Bye. She talking about that wasn't scary. Oh, um, where's the scary part? Um, that was that was very creepy. Like what? 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 Your dad couldn't find him, and then y'all had a fence that could not be climbed without you know just by yourself, just a singular person. You had to have doubles. You had to have someone else. Yeah, no, because back in my day, we climbed some fences. We used to jump fences. I don't know why we did. I remember this one particular time where we jumped the fence. I don't remember why we did it. Oh, we jumped the fence because how our neighborhood was set up is there was a gym over there on that side of the yard, like on the over a fence, and you had to cross over yards from our yard. You had to cross the street, and you had to cross into the um the um the projects, and you had to cross over another yard, and then you had to jump the fence to get to the gym. That's what it, I was just like, why would we jump? This is Badafre. It's you saw what you saw, and the fact that it was it, mm -mm, um, you was innocent too. So that's probably why you saw it and no one else saw it because you was innocent. Nope, no, no ma'am. Yeah, sure. Yep, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have a few ghost stories. <laughs> uh, they're they're little. They spook me the fuck out, right? So here we here's here's the here's the boop boop. Here's here's the story. I've told it before, but you know, for the internet, uh, here 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 you are. Um, I was in. 
Puerto Rico, I think I was in my junior year of high school, um, and I was looking for colleges. I was looking for colleges I wanted to go to, and my uncle and I, we take this little trip, 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 trip. We're on the island already, and we're, you know, traveling to wherever it is that we have to go, and we stop at an Airbnb before Airbnbs were a thing. You know what I mean? This was like years ago, years ago, years ago. And uh, it's an elderly couple. They've got to be, geez, they've got to be like late 60s, uh, sorry, late, late 70s, early 80s. Um, and maybe not that old, but like super, super up there. And, uh, you know, we come across the sighting and we see like, oh, okay, cool. They're down. We'll stay here for a, few, for a few days. They had a duplex, but it wasn't a side-by-side -side duplex. It was an up-and-down duplex. So... Um, they say, hey, we're going to go visit family in whatever part of the island they're going to. And they, they say, no, you, you guys can stay here. This is the set rate, blah, 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 blah. And they give us the rules of the house, right? Okay, cool. Uh, my, me and my uncle, we, we oblige. We pay them half up front. Cool, cool, cool. They leave. Now, at this point in time, I am not old enough to go live the nightlife in PR. Not yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at the spay. I'm, I'm, at the, I'm at the place. My uncle goes out. He goes to the bar. And he's like, hey, man, just fucking behave. And I'm like, cool. I got my Xbox. I got my phone. I'm talking to my homies, we're playing fucking, I don't know, whatever game was out back, Halo, whatever. And, um, eventually, you know, time passes, and it's like one, it's like one or two in the morning, and, uh, I hear just, this knocking, I like this tapping, rather, is what it was. It was just this tapping noise, and this tapping noise, no matter where I went in the house, the noise sounded close to me, but I was, I was never close enough to the noise to know that that's where the noise was. Does that make sense? Like, no matter what room I was in, it was the same volume, but it never, like, let me know that I was close to what was making the noise, right? So I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, it's something in the walls, it's something in the, it's, it's, it's like a heater, it's not gonna, boom, 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 boom. and I, and I, I fucking freak out, right? Because it's just been, that's just been this, right? And I'm freaking the fuck. I run into the room. I shut the door. I've never yelled louder. Ah! Slam the door. I call my uncle. I'm like, hey, dude. Hey. Some shit is fucking going on. I need help. He goes, oh, you're fucking, you're just being a chump. You're being a lame. I'll be home. Not worry about it. He comes home. It's like five in the morning. Of course, the noise stops. The noise has stopped now. Until, until, until uh, the next night comes around. I'm like, hey, uncle. Don't leave. Don't leave me. I'm terrified. Now, mind you, that those noises happened all night until my uncle got home. Repeat. Night number two, my uncle stays. Okay. From 1.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock. I'm here. And he's like, ah, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I'm not doing nothing. Come, 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 come to the room with me. And we hear the noise. We walk around the house. <laughs> This goes on all night. This goes on all night. All night. All night. This goes on. And we are freaking the fuck out. The third day comes around and we're we're ready to fucking go. We are ready to go. As a matter of fact, we don't even stay in the house the third day. We get whatever sleep we can and we're out on the fucking town the entire day. Okay. We call the, the people whose house it is. They come back. Right. And uh, my uncle pays them the rest of the money. They ask how the stay was. And they're like, oh, well, it was it was relatively good, right? The house didn't burn down. It didn't catch fire. But what the fuck is this noise? What are we doing? What are we doing? So the 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 husband, he kind of looks very, he looks distraught. when he turns around and goes inside the house. And the wife, the wife starts to tear up. And she goes, well, what happened? And my uncle goes, well, we were fucking sleeping. And we heard this tippity tappity tippity tappity tippity tapping. Boom, 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 boom. And then like somebody like fucking like just aggressively just strummed a fucking guitar and this lady the one with fucking goosebumps this lady says to me and my uncle she goes i i am oh motherfucker she goes i i am so so sorry i am so so sorry we should have told you about her and me and my uncle go what did that mean you should have told about her what that mean their daughter okay this was like 60 years before. I don't know. The daughter was fairly young. She was like 10. She would jump rope. in. in okay. So also, let me preface. Everywhere in Puerto Rico, like, is tile floor. You're very rarely going to find a rug floor. She was jumping rope. She was jumping rope. Wearing socks inside the house on tile. She clipped herself and fell down the steps. Father used to play in a band. Guess what he played? The guitar. The little girl tripped 
over the fucking jump rope, stumbled down the steps, and broke her neck on her father's guitar. And that's what we heard all night. I'm so sorry. Thank you. What? And you didn't think to tell me this? Because obviously, this happens every night when you're there. And you didn't think to tell us this? Oh my goodness. That poor baby. Okay, so I understand she's a baby. She was young. Why were you wearing socks on tile floors, jumping rope in the house? I'm a jump roper. I skip rope as my exercise. Like I do a thousand skips, you know, like I, I know what it is. And I understand when I first started, I would just one, two, trip. One, two, trip. Like, I, I couldn't make it to 10 without tripping. And then, you know, even now that I'm an avid jump roper, I still get tripped up every now and then. I know when I'm about to trip, like, I would not dare do it with socks on. I've, I've jumped rope inside the house. We have hardwood floors. And when I jump rope inside the house, I have tennis shoes. When I jump rope outside, because I usually jump rope on the concrete in the garage i have tennis shoes on anytime i jump rope i have tennis shoes on because i know when i skip when i trip over that rope it's gonna hurt or i could fall or anything could happen so baby why would you jump a rope in the house because we all know we all been to puerto rico i hope i've been to puerto rico for my birthday it was like i want to move there that's how great puerto rico is i want to move there but that is true everywhere you go because we got an airbnb it is tile floors, tile floor, all up in there. And it's not, you know, it's Spanish tile floors. I think of that. When you think of Spain and how is, you know, the how it's designed, it's that type of tile floor. So, boo. Mm, nope. Literally, boo. Because she was like, that's awful. Those poor parents. I'm surprised they didn't move. You have to experience that every time your child's deaf. Oh. Oh, uh, why was she so close to the stairs jumping rope? There's just so many questions. Poor baby, rest in peace. Why didn't they tell them that? Like, oh, I think you should know this. Ugh. Imagine growing up and being warned about Lugaus just to find out that your mom is one. Scary story time. And this one's going to be kind of short. So it's all going to be in one part. I know y'all don't like to be waiting for other parts. But you know, your girl got to build tension. Anyways, this girl, she's Haitian. And it was pretty obvious growing up that, you know, her family was into voodoo, including her mom. But she never thought that her mom, her actual mom, was a whole Lugau. Speaking of Lugau's, there was recently a Lugau that was caught on camera, and I have the video. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Actually, I'm still gonna post it anyway. But be just just get ready for that. This Lugau wasn't like a a Lugau that shapeshifts. It was a Lugau that like actually came as they were. But it shows you how. And as she got older, they did. But yeah, go follow her. Go follow all of the creators. Go follow them. They have good stories. I know she has a bunch of stories. I think I have one more of her stories on this lineup later on back in. It's going to be days away. But go follow them. I don't have anything to say about this because I don't even know what she's talking about. I, I, I've heard a little bit of Haitian, Haiti's story, stories from Haiti. From um Miss Noah. I know y'all seen Noah. Miss Noah is on YouTube now. She don't post as much as she used to. I'm a little upset about that. She used to do those Friday Friday night call-ins. And I used to always be on there, Friday night live. I'd be listening to the stories because a lot of those people who called in was from North Carolina. Go ahead and stand up. Because we have some stories here, apparently. So, yeah. But I'm so glad she didn't tell her mama that little baby's name. And I'm glad she didn't follow in her mom's footsteps. But, honey... Yeah, if y'all could comment on it, y'all, y'all comment, leave the comments in the comment section. I don't know nothing about that and I'm not trying to find out. Subscribe!